Livingston Taylor shows up for his concert at the Word Barn in Exeter. No entourage, no fanfare, just a singer and his guitar. At age 69, the unassuming star still finds inspiration in unexpected places. He demonstrates during our interview with a spontaneous jam session. What was I thinking about today? Oh, uh, 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 he heard the bouncy bubblegum pop tune, Wake Me Up Before You Go Go, while grocery shopping. Something about it struck him, and with a few tweaks, he thought he might add the Wham standard to his set list. Come on, baby, let's not fight. We'll go dance and everything will be all right. Wake me up before you go, go. I'm not planning on going solo. Wake me up before you go, go. Take me dancing tonight. I want to feel that high. And the idea of Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go uh, coming out of Livingston Taylor, it would be uh, what you're looking for is never something new. What you're always looking for is the familiar in an unexpected place. That is great art, that is great comedy. We're headed for the blue, when things get clear. His concerts are a combination of covers and original songs. He's written hundreds over his 50-year music career. Everybody is getting so hip, busting a move, biting their lip. Light as a feather, cool as a breeze, everybody I see is just like me. Livingston grew up in a musical family, the fourth of five siblings, all performers, born in Boston, raised in North Carolina. He picked up his first guitar when he was 13. My uh, first guitar teacher uh, was my brother James. James is a very great guitar player and so I would watch him play and then I would uh, uh, try it and when I would get it wrong uh, the bad news is that he would slug me, give me a slug in the arm. Nah, that's not right. Ah. And uh, uh, after uh, giving me a, a bit of a swack he'd show me uh, how to do it and so I had a wonderful guitar teacher for uh, the mere price of an occasionally sore shoulder. In my friend, you're in a Carolina day. He cut his first record at 18 and went on to have several top 40 hits. Carolina day gonna rise up sometime, give you good lines, reason and a rhyme. Of course I get compared to James and uh, oh, what could be more pleasant than being compared to James Taylor. He's a wonderful artist. He's a, uh, uh, a, a wonderful songwriter. Um, uh, both things pale next to his quality as a brother. He's a fantastic brother and a dear friend. And so, no, uh, my life has been absolutely blessed by having uh, uh, lived uh, in the shadow of James Taylor. The brothers have collaborated on a few projects and may one day tour together. As much as Livingston loves center stage, he's equally at home in the classroom. He's been a professor at Berklee College of Music for 30 years, teaching stage performance. I say to my students all the time, it's not enough to create it. You have to watch it land. So you practice your guitar, not so you will play better, but you can play and not have it take your attention. So I can pick up the guitar, I can look at you, 
And now I'm playing, but I'm watching, watching you land. Now I've held you by the familiarity of time, of tone, and then you can start the song. How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that doggy in the window? I do hope that doggy's for sale. John Mayer and Charlie Puth, just two of his students who've made it big. Livingston says audience connection makes or breaks an artist. His own warmth and relatability, combined with a rich, unique voice and superb acoustic guitar picking, have made him a draw for more than a half century. Tickets for the intimate performance under the lights at the Word Barn sold out in hours. This is a huge night for us. We are super excited uh, and, you know, we're really kind of pinching ourselves. Always laughing for the sheer joy of living. She heard my stories right through till the end. Always looking for a new way of giving. She even liked my mama and my no good friends. The concert, one of Livingston's first live performances since the coronavirus pandemic hit, and he's thrilled to kick off in the Granite State. New Hampshire is a particularly wonderful state. Uh, eclectic, energetic souls and a, a mind of its own and a great enthusiasm. And uh, uh, I always love being back here. If happy little 